My name is Rosina. I'm a banker, I'm a biker, an event planner. I let one out. <laughs> Salsa dancer. Let's go again, don't worry. You will learn a thing, oh baby. I am a banker. I am a biker, an event planner, a salsa dancer, and also a relationship expert. <laughs> My name is Rosina Paukume Ashufi. I'm a banker by profession. Um, on this trip, I'm known as Salsa Rosie. It's my first time on the AIS um, adventure trip, and I must say it's been awesome so far. The terrain has been rough, but I'm glad I was able to navigate most of it. Um, I've had one fall, one fall. Documented one fall, but everything is fine. Everything is okay. As you can see, I'm good because I was properly geared, so there was no harm done to me. So okay. far, it's been an amazing experience. Um, from the Jolu Shell where we took off, I had a lot of mixed feelings. There was anxiety, there was excitement, um, a bit of you know fear of the unknown. We started. It was a very good ride. I thought the first day was going to be very easy because of the Cape Coast Sakradi terrain, but that trip to Afro Beach. Oh my god, oh my god. So that was the first page turner. I was happy I was able to pull through. The second day, the terrain it was going to be very easy to come out. No, we didn't think it was going to be easy, but it was very difficult. And if I'm not mistaken, the second day was one of my hardest experiences of the whole trip. Then came the third day, which was pretty much easy. Um, I was able to go full throttle. The road was pretty amazing compared to the other two days that we had experienced. And then the fourth day, which was just yesterday. <sighs> that ride to Wen Chiao Hippo Sanctuary. That ride, I think that ride just made me like, I don't know, made me like almost inhuman to be able to survive that ride. It was, it was amazing, the adventure. At some point, we're not even riding on the road. We had to go through the shrubs, the grass, and for me that experience was just everything for me. It was difficult, it was tough, I was dehydrated, I was tired, my arms were aching, but I just looked at the guy ahead of me and I just told myself I need to make sure I get there too. And then we got there, we managed to get to um, where we had to sleep, that was um, Jirapa, Dubai. A very nice place and so far the experience has been good. I'm happy. This trip has been very exciting. Um, we've covered so many terrains. Um, I have never seen good road between Yendi and Bimbila. For me, that was one very good road I experienced. And then the west road um, was the road to um, the Wenqiao Hippo Sanctuary. That was the most trying experience. I mean, was that a road? I don't know. It wasn't a road. I mean, we had to go through shrubs sometimes. We had to go through pathways. We had to go through so many places and it was exciting. And then the potholes, you know. I think I've become proficient in dodging potholes, but there are times you just have to choose the pothole you have to fall into. And all those were experiences that I've encountered um, throughout the journey. I have had the opportunity to experience Ghana, to go through several regions I have never really been to, and I've had a, the opportunity to experience them on a bike. Um, and biking is it's an adventure that I very I, I so much love. It's at the center of my heart. So it, it, for me, it's very fulfilling to be able to experience that on a bike and actually make myself a better rider as a person. And being a woman on this trip, a lot of women fear this kind of adventures because of the uncertainties, the bad roads, the speeds and all of that. But I think that I feel very proud as a gateway, you know, someone who's opened their gateway for more women to join. Um, once I've done it, I'm sure that other women would also feel like they can also do it too. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so my bike has fallen. I need help carrying it. The team has been amazing. The people, especially those who have been on the program for two, three times, consecutive times, they have been helpful, they have been amazing. They have been guiding all of us. I mean, I mean, the team has been amazing. No one gets left behind. And over the past seven days, we've had the opportunity to bond, to be to become friends, you know, by virtue of the fact that we share experiences, we share our challenges, we share all of that that we have on the road. And Mono, the waiter brought me Puna, a Puma Cola. Puna Yam. All in all, it has been a wonderful experience. Would I do it again? Several times. And I would like to use this opportunity to let the woman know that it is possible to go on an adventure ride with a gentleman. One, the gentlemen are awesome. They're not going to leave you behind. They're going to take care of you and make sure that you endure. And two, it's a mental game. 
once you are psyched up mentally for the challenge, I'm sure you can sail through. It is a wonderful program and I'd like to thank um, Daniela Trifi for the initiative of AIS and bringing it, bringing it together and giving us the opportunity to explore these terrains all over. So, I mean, it has been a wonderful experience and I wouldn't trade it for anything else. Thank you. If you do like this, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification button so that you can get more of this content every week. Thank you. Or every day, whatever. Is it okay? Okay. Also, Rosie.